Greetings and welcome to Utique Lifestyle. This is a wardrobe planning series in collaboration with So Much Fabric and Sew to Fit. In this video, I'm going to show you the process of how I created my toile for my sailor jeans. And I use these items for different reasons for my toile. The first item is an old toile I made from McCall's 3892. Now I had modified this pattern several times to create an old holiday party outfit and also my linen sailor shorts. The second item are my ready to wear skinny jeans in which I used the back to get the design elements of the jeans. The third item are my old favorite slacks in which I used to wear so much before I had my children. I saved it because I love the sliver bootleg style and was hoping to recreate it one day, which now is the perfect time. And the last item is my linen sailor shorts in which it is my inspiration. And I'll also have a sew along video to it, so I'll link that below if you're interested. So let's get started. On this day, I happen to have my cute mom over doing her own alterations. To get the sliver bootleg style, I put on my old favorite slacks. As you can see, this no longer fits me at the waistline. But I'm going to place the pin right at the knee and then mark it straight across with a chalk wheel. And I'll do this also to the back. Next, I'm going to hand baste it along the chalk line. I will be stitching it all the way around the pant leg. Now I'm going to mark a line straight across at the crotch of the pants. I will do this to the front and the back of the pants. And then hand baste. Using the seam ripper, I will now take the old pants apart. I am only working with one side of the slacks, in which I only need the front and the back pieces of the pant leg. I took the old toile and drew a line across the crotch on the front and back sides of the pattern. I aligned it with the crotch markings on my slacks and then pin. I placed it on top of my tracing paper and then traced the outline of the slacks up to the crotch line. I also marked it across at the knee line. So these are the new outline of the pant legs. Now I'm going to use the back of my jeans to take some measurements and here I'm measuring the waist and it is one and a half inches. My toile is already one and a half inches so I'm going to move next to the side of the jeans. I'm going to take the measurement of the side yoke and here you can see it is half an inch. I'm going to mark it half an inch down on my toile. Starting from the waistline down to the bottom of the yoke, I'm going to measure that and that is two inches. On the toile, I'm going down two inches and mark. Next, I'm going to connect the markings and create the yoke of the jeans. Because I had used this toile to create the sailor shorts, and you might have noticed all these other markings on this toile, so I'm going to highlight the new seam lines for the jeans in orange. Next, using the jeans, I'm going to line up the bottom of the yoke seam with the one on the toile. Now I'm going to take the pins and pin trace around the pockets. You may notice me pressing on it. I'm just making sure the pockets are laying flat on the toile. I will lay it on top of the tracing paper and trace around the seam line of the pocket. I will remove all the pins and now you can see the transferred lines onto the toile, which is on the wrong side of the toile, so I am going to transfer it back to the front side. And I will trace the pocket lines with the orange highlighter. Now for the front sailor design, I am going to use my linen red shorts. I decided that I wanted the front pocket line to go down to the third button. Here I did use the wrong end of the ruler to measure down, but it is showing 7 inches, but it's actually 5 inches going down from the waistline. I will mark it onto the toile 5 inches down, and then highlight it from that marking all the way up to the waistline. After doing that, I decided to highlight all the seam lines. And from the initial marking, I'm going to highlight a straight line across. And now I have the markings for the front seam lines. And now I'm ready to make a completely new toile. This is just the general process, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Here I laid the old pattern on top of the new muslin fabric. 
And as you can see, I am placing the pattern piece on the grain line. I am ready to trace along all the seam lines. Unpin and remove the old muslin, and here I'm marking in a one inch seam line. Cut, and I made sure to label each pattern piece. For the smaller pattern pieces, I didn't use remnant muslin fabric. Here I'm creating the inside pocket lining. And here I'm creating the side pockets. So here are the pattern pieces for the front of my sailor jeans. Now for the back, I did transfer the pocket seam lines onto the back of the pant leg. I repeated the same general process as I did for the front. I gave it a one inch seam line, cut, transferred all lines to the other side, and made sure to label each piece. And here are the pattern pieces for the back side. It is now ready to be sewn together and I will go into more sewing details in part two. The first thing I did was I practiced the flat felled seam, which sewed the yoke and the back of the pant leg together. This part is in collaboration with Andrea at sew to fit and I'll link her tutorial down below. Feel free to check it out. This was a great opportunity to practice sewing on the pockets and the bar tack. I also played around with the stitch lines on the front of the pants. With right sides of the fabric facing each other, I'll place one front and one back on top of each other. Stitch it together along the inside of the pant leg and then open it up with right sides of the fabric facing each other. Take the front of one side of the pants and then lay it on the front of the other side. Straighten it out and then sew it along the inside of the pants. Don't forget to consider the zipper. Now pull the top leg pant up, pull the front of the pants from underneath and then lay it on top of the back pocket side. Straighten out the other side of the back pocket and lay the front of the pants on top. And it should now look like this. Sew along the sides and my toile is complete. I am now ready to pre-wash this beautiful denim fabric, which is available at So Much Fabric, and I'll leave the link below. I followed the instructions in Fabric Savvy by Sandra Bettina. It says to wash separately since colors bleed and machine wash in warm water and machine dry in regular temperature. Pre-shrink twice to eliminate all shrinkage. Second drying, remove fabric while still slightly damp and iron dry. So I followed the book step by step. So the denim fabric went into the washing machine twice, then dried and ironed. This concludes part one. Don't forget to watch part two where you will see the making of the details on the denim sailor jeans. Thank you for watching and I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. And if you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for future videos.